What's up guys, Ultimate Debate back today with another video um, and I'm super excited about this one. So if you're like me and you own the Raspberry Pi 3, um, you you know this. If you don't and you're looking for one, then you'll find out. Um, the, the power supply included with the Raspberry Pi does not have an on off switch. So it means that to turn it off, you have to shut down and then physically unplug it and then plug it in when you want to boot it up. Um, the issue is maybe you don't want to do that. Maybe you want something a little bit easier. So that's where this product comes in. Um, and what I have today is the, um, it's, it's a starter pack basically. It's from Wunu, 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 I'll link it below. Wunu Tech, uh, sorry if I got that wrong. Power supply with a switch. Um, it comes with a heat sink. So it might help a little bit, I don't know. There's not a heat sink on it already. Um, it's just the CPU, nothing crazy. It's the stock, whatever it comes with it. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty pretty excited to try this out and see, um, one, if it helps thermals at all. You know, it, it not like exactly gaming or anything, although you can play pocket Minecraft. Um, anyways, I'm not looking for anything crazy, nothing amazing, um, just the on and off switch. So that way, instead of having to unplug it, you can just click switch and you're set. So if we take a look at the package, uh, So here's the actual heat sink. And then this is the cable. It's actually a lot longer than the included one from, uh, I got mine from MCM Electronics, I think. And this is the switch. So it clicks on and off. I'm sure you can hear it. Um, and then ceasing power or giving it. So it, oh, so it's, okay, cool. It's got the power brick. So yeah, it's just standard stuff I guess um, and it is certified to work with Raspberry Pi 3 um, so not 2 not 1 or whatever but 3 so I'm gonna go ahead and put this all together There we go. Heat sinks on, and then uh, I'm gonna reattach the case. There we go. By the way, I love this case. I got it aftermarket, obviously, because the Pi does not come with a case for stupid reasons. Not really, it's just cheaper. Whole installation took less than five minutes. Honestly, if you didn't have a case that was super difficult to get on and off like mine, it'd probably take you less than, I would say, two minutes. I mean, honestly, super easy. Looks clean. Heat sinks look nice. So yeah, I don't know how long it'll last or whatever, but uh, now we need to boot it up. So I'm gonna get an HDMI cable. Okay, so it's plugged in. Let's, let's see. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we've got the Raspberry Pi booted up. Let me get my.
There we go. All right, so it looks like CPU usage is right around the same that it was before. Or, sorry, temperatures. Um, so obviously, CPU usage wouldn't change. Um, see if we can add temperature. There we go. Okay, yeah. So it's at 46, not bad. Um, I mean, I haven't done that much intensive stuff. I guess I could play a video, get some stuff going, where it actually has to do something. Um, and if you haven't checked this video out, the new Ty iOS, <laughs> Ty iOS, the new iOS 10 beta walkthrough, you should go ahead and check that. I'll link that also. Um, so yeah, um, the main thing really is to show off the so yeah, the main part of this was to show off the actual power supply, um, how you can switch it off, on and off without having to unplug it. So what I'm going to do now is shut down my Raspberry Pi and test out that. So normally, okay, so it's booted off. Normally, huh, you can see me. Normally, you would have to unplug it directly into it. Um, and so that's kind of frustrating, annoying, and, and just a hassle. So with this, it's on the back side. But with this, you click, cuts the power, and then simply click again powers back on and it's starting to boot there you go see so you're all set um, I really like this for many reasons um, my favorite would be that you just don't have to worry about unplugging it it's a hassle if you drop the cable the cable that's provided is not very long so with this one not only is the cable longer it's more convenient it's just easier guys and I would highly recommend it nine dollars like I said um, if you already bought the Raspberry Pi or you're gonna buy it I would definitely recommend this um, or if you know someone who's gonna buy it you should definitely get it for them just because it's a super cool way to um, enhance your Raspberry Pi experience so I would definitely recommend it guys like I said um, Link's going to be down below. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, please check out my other videos. I've got a lot of cool stuff up and a lot of stuff, a lot of cool stuff coming. Also, we have a giveaway um, going on at 100 subscribers. We're so close, guys. Um, so share these videos with your friends if you like them. If you dislike them, let me know. Comment. Um, I do accept and love feedback. So if there's something I could be doing better, um, hopefully... Uh, you'll let me know in a cool fashion. Um, if you check out ultimatedebatereviews.com, also linked below, you can um, get connected on social media, on Twitter, on Twitch. I occasionally do some Twitch streams. Um, you can check out other videos, or you can actually send me an email. That'd be super cool, because I love hearing from movie people. Um, also, if you have an inquiry about a product you're wanting to promote or be promoted, um, whatever, or if you want to do like a collaboration, that'd be super cool. So anyways, thanks for watching guys. Um, I hope you guys have an awesome day. I hope this helps you out a lot and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.